Now we're going to conclude construction of triangles by looking at construction of a scalene triangle of size AB 100 millimeters, BC equals to 80 millimeters, and CA 50 millimeters. So let's give this a go. Now let's look at exercise three relating to a scalene triangle. So we've been given the length of the triangle to be as follows. So we've been given AB. So let's scribe a line like so. And AB measures 100 millimeters. So 100 millimeters. Let's turn our compass at the end and open to 100 millimeters. Okay, like so. And what I'll do is I'll stand at one end of our line, scribe an arc, stand at the other end, scribe an arc. So what I'm going to do is firm the line out using outlines. And that is our line A. And B. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attribute dimensions to it. So I'm just going to project array like so. Do likewise at B. I leave a minimum of 10 millimeters. So project like so. And then I'm just going to construct our arrowhead like so like do it like so to actually standards relating to drawing arrowheads but I'm just going to keep it nice and simple and quick right so that is our 100 so I'm also going to do the other lengths so similarly I'm going to draw array like so get the compass so our line B C has been given as 80 so I'm just going to stand at 80 like so and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand at one end scribe an arc scribe an arc the other end okay so that's going to be our B in our C. So I'm just going to move the T square to firm the line out like so. Okay, so similar to what I've done previously, I'm just going to project. And then Using good judgment, draw our array, and I'm going to do our arrowhead like so. Do like so, like so, and that is BC at eighty. Then I'm going to do the last line, like so, and that measures 50 millimeters. So I'm going to open to 50, like so, with the compass. Stand at one end, scribe an arc, like so. Stand at where I scribe the arc, and do likewise on the opposite. And this is going to characterize our other line, C, A. 
Uh, similar to the others, bring the T square up, firm out the line, like so. And I'm going to use set square to project from the marked end, so end of the line, like so. And using good judgment. Assign our dimension. Like so. And like so. And that measures 50 millimeters. So now that we've got our size, we can now proceed to construct our Scalene triangle. So I'm going to start off with the base, like so. So instead of me going back to the rulers, I'll just take my measurements from the line drawn. So AB, stand at one end, scribe, stand at the other. Scribe to cut, so that's R, A, and that's our B. All right, so I'm going to bring the, uh, the T square and I'm going to use an outline to let the B stand out like so. So this should be a very quick one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the compass, stand at C, open to B. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand at B, okay, and I'm going to describe an arc, like so. All right, and then I'm going to do likewise again, and this time I'm going to take our other side of the triangle, which would be line B as C A or A C. So I'm going to stand at A, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to describe an arc to intersect the previous one, like so. Where the two arcs intersect, that will give us our point C. And all I have to do now is just join and connect the triangle. So, C to A, and then B to C, like so. Easy peasy. So again, if you want to, you can use the protractor to measure what that angle is. So for this particular angle, this is reading almost 30 degrees. Yeah. So that is reading approximately 30 degrees. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dimension the base angle. Like so. Do our arrow heads. So it's going to be pretty small. Like so. And that measures 30 degrees. Okay. And then this angle. The measures that measures approximately fifty three. Quite interesting. So that's about fifty three. Then if you add the angles, the base angles, and you deduct it from one eighty, that'll give you the angle at vector C. So this is a pretty fast construction. And as I stated, this specific side given relating to the angle, then it's going to be a combination of probably using a protractor, your pair of compasses, and that'll be more or less it. So this angle was approximately, so I'm going to use a different color to denote that. So this was approximately 53. 
degrees. And this is a very easy way of constructing a nice a scalene triangle, sorry, where you've been given the dimensions of the sides. All right, folks, till the next time. Thank you.